Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Yen. I'm here to help you understand your everyday tech one video at a time. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to customize your iPhone on iOS 14 by installing custom icons. This is a step-by-step -step guide on how to theme your iOS 14 app icons so you can turn your home screen from this into this. Let's get started. Now, if you're like me and you already have a lot of apps on your home screen, the first thing you need to do is reorganize your home screen pages. And what I mean by that is that you already have all these apps set up in the way that you use them, in the way that you like. You don't want anything to happen in case you decide to not go through with installing custom icons. And it's just way easier if you have a clean page to work with. Now the first thing I would do is to clear off whatever apps you have on your dock. So maybe just dump them in like a spare place somewhere. And then what I would do is find your shortcuts app. It looks like this. If you don't have it, you can get it on the app store or you can find it in your app library. Let's go ahead and tap and hold and drag it to a blank page just like that. And now you want to hit this bar down here and uncheck your uh, existing home screen pages. That way you just left with the blank page. Now the most obvious way of downloading icons for yourself is to just Google it. So if you go into your Safari and say like, oh, custom Instagram logo, you can just go to the images and then find one you like and then just use that. Now you gotta be careful with these because you have to make sure they're PNG files. So if they have the little white borders, that's not going to work. You'll wanna find one that is either transparent or is all blacked out so you can't tell. So for example, if you see the checkered background like that, that means it is transparent in the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this. And now once you have the icon you want for your app, go into the shortcuts app, tap on the plus sign in the corner, hit add action, search for open, app and boom you have a little open app thing click on that tap choose i'm going to choose my instagram like so and then i'm going to hit next i'm going to name this ig short for instagram and done so now that shortcut will open up instagram whenever it is activated now in order to make this into a custom icon you have to hit the three little dots Hit these three little dots up here, hit add to home screen, and there you are, here's your shortcut. You have the chance to rename your shortcut right here if it is not what you originally named it. Tap on this icon, hit choose photo, click on the photo that you just downloaded, hit choose, and boom, here's your custom icon. Let's go ahead and hit add. So now when you go home, there's your custom Instagram icon. So now I'm gonna find another icon. Let's see if we can get a matching like cartoony one for Twitter, there we are. The same deal, we'll go back into the Shortcuts app. Now if you don't wanna like go through that whole process of making the open app and making a new shortcut, all you have to do is hold down on the shortcut you just made for Instagram or for whatever app that you just did. Hit duplicate and use the duplicate with the number instead of the original one. Do not use the original one, use the duplicate. Tap on the three little dots then we'll change the app in here for Twitter. Tap on the three little dots up here. You might want to rename it as well. Twitter, like that. Add to home screen. And again, make sure your title here is also Twitter. Then tap on the icon, hit choose photo, get your icon, boom, add, done. And make sure you hit done in the shortcuts app so it saves it as the Twitter like shortcut. Because if you don't, it'll default back to that one and every time you click on Twitter, it'll open Instagram. So don't do that. Make sure this says Twitter. Now, the downside of making these custom icons is if you tap on them, it jumps through the shortcuts app and then into the app that you got. If you want to cut out that animation and make it a little more normal, go ahead and go into your settings app. Scroll down to accessibility. In here, tap on motion and then turn on reduce motion. So now whenever you use animations, it'll just fade instead of like zooming in and out all over the place. So when you tap on this, it's going to seem much faster going into the app. So here's a before and after. See that? Boom. 
Now, if you're like me and you want all your icons to sport the similar style and you maybe just can't find it for all the icons that you need, or you just don't wanna go and look for them one by one by one, there is a better way of doing this and that is using a custom icon pack. It'll save you a lot of time. And the icon pack I have is actually emailed to me. So I'm gonna go into my mail app. If you get it in like a zip file like this, iOS can now handle zip files. You just wanna hold on that, hit save to files. I'm gonna save it to my desktop folder, hit save, and then go into my files app. And in here, I'll go to where I downloaded that, hit the zip file, it'll automatically unzip for you. Tap on the folder, and here is a set of custom icons from this theme pack that I have. Now this theme pack is made by a graphic designer called Kalazar. He is actually the sponsor of this video, so if you like this icon pack, check out the link down below. I personally think it's really minimal, really cool. And you'll see here in a second what we can do to make this home screen just that much more magical. And currently there are like 67 something icons in here. So, and he's gonna be updating more of these as time goes on. The next thing you wanna do is save these to your photos. So hit the three little dots up there, hit select. I'm just gonna go all the way to the top and then just swipe just like in your photos app. And then just select all these images, hit the share icon, scroll down to save 67 images and just tap on that. And now in your photos app, you should have all of those icons in here. If you wanna filter through these and just pick the ones you want, by all means do that. But after you have downloaded the icon pack, you just need to do the same thing that I showed you earlier with the shortcuts app. So I'm just gonna hold on this and duplicate the one that uh, I made earlier and then use that duplicate, hit edit, hit open. I'm gonna put Netflix and then hit the other three little dots clear out the name, put Netflix, done. Add to home screen, Netflix one more time. Tap on the icon, hit choose photo. And now I can choose one of these more uniform icons. So like here's the Netflix icon. I'll just tap on that. It looks pretty great in my opinion. Hit choose, hit add, and done. At this point, I'm gonna go and find a better wallpaper for this. It's actually funny because the icon pack comes pre-installed with a nice dark wallpaper. So I'm just gonna hit the share button, hit set as wallpaper, set, set both, and there you go. I'm gonna get rid of these little cartoony icons and it's already looking so much better. Now you just wanna do this for however many icons you want or the ones that you most frequently use. So if you want that really minimal look on your home screen, just pick the apps that you use the most often and use the app library for your other apps. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a few more icons and then we'll add some widgets. All right, so now I've added a few more matching icons with this theme and now I wanna add some widgets to kind of spice things up. Now, personally, two of my favorite ones, um, I'll mention more in a future video, but to get that home screen set up, I showed you at the very beginning, you'll wanna go into your app store and look for Widget Smith. I'm sure you have heard of this one before and just download that application. And then the other one is just the standard Google search app, not Google Chrome, just the standard Google app. Actually, I'm gonna turn on dark mode to make it a little cooler. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go to the Widget Smith app and then just start making my custom widgets. I've already made a couple. There are three different sizes. You have the small, the medium, and the large. I personally only use the medium and the small ones. So I'm just gonna hit add, tap on the one you wanna change, tap on that. And I'm just gonna say, uh, let's put a clock. And then go back, hit save. And now we can go ahead and add it to our home screen. So I'm just gonna put it into wiggle mode hit the plus icon, hit search, and then put in Widget Smith. And I'm just gonna add that small one we just created. It's gonna look like that. And if you wanna select which one, like if you made multiple, just go ahead and hold on that, hit edit widget, tap on this, select the one you just made, and there you go. Now I'm actually going to change this into a calendar, which is my number one, just like that. And I'm going to add another one of the same kind. And as you guys can see, there is still a blank space here. So we're gonna go ahead and fill this up with the Google. And I'm gonna use the medium size one. Hit add, just like that. And I'm gonna put this in different corners. 
just like that. And bam, there we go. There is that home screen that I showed you at the very beginning. So now when you go ahead and unlock your phone, you have this really clean and uniform home screen instead of what we had before. So there you go, guys. That is how you turn this home screen into this home screen. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon, and I will see you in the next one.